Hello and welcome to the Money Street. You're probably wondering what index funds are and what are you investing in when you get into these types of investment options. Probably you listened about them, but you don't know what they mean and how you can profit from them, so if you want to know more, stay tuned. What is an index fund? Maybe you already know what a mutual fund is, but if not, let's do a little review. A mutual fund is basically like a collective investment. Many people, many investors get together, generate this fund, and with the resources of this fund they buy different types of instruments. There are many types of funds. There can be funds that invest exclusively in debt instruments, such as, for example, corporate debt, bank debt, among others. Or, there can also be other types of variable income funds, which invest in company shares. There are also hedge funds that invest in other currencies to protect you when your country's currency may depreciate. When we talk about fund strategies, there are usually two types, active strategies and passive strategies. Active strategies are those that seek to beat the market. For example, if you are in a stock market fund that invests in US stocks, they will try to beat the Standard & Poor's 500 index, known as S&P 500, which groups the 500 companies that move the most in the US stock market. And, if you are in an active fund, they will constantly try to pick and choose to have a higher profit or yield than this index. There is another type of fund, which is a passively managed fund, which instead of trying to beat the market, it just follows the indexes. In this example I was giving you, an indexed fund that follows the standard and pours 500, what it is going to do, is to look for the companies that are in that index, more or less in what proportion, and it is going to try to buy the shares by copying this model. Basically, an indexed fund is a passive management fund, that is to say, it does not try to beat the market, and what it does is simply try to copy, or, as financiers say, replicate what is in a certain index so that you have that result. Why have index fund strategies become so popular? Well, because somehow not all investors have all the time to be analyzing company by company, whether it is stocks or debt, and really see which one is the best for their portfolio. So, when you buy an indexed fund, what you have is a sample of that market, and if the market goes up, you are going to win, if the market goes down, it is obviously going to affect your investment. So let's say it is something a little more global, you don't need to have this microscopic view. There are many types of indexes, some of which follow stocks or are samples of stocks in certain stock exchanges. We are talking about the most popular ones, such as the Standard & Poor's 500, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq, for example, which is the index of technology companies, and which is precisely one of the ones that since all this boom in e-commerce and technology companies, which obviously increased with the pandemic, people are looking for more. But there are also, obviously, indexes in other markets such as the Nikkei, the Mexican Stock Exchange Price and Quotations Index, the IBEX in Spain, the FTSE of the London Stock Exchange, the Colcap, which is the main index of the Colombian Stock Exchange, or the Merval of the Argentine Stock Exchange. There are also indices on the debt side or indices that group types of countries, such as an index of emerging markets, an index of developed markets. Of course, also for those who want to invest in commodities, there are indices that follow the price of gold or the price of certain raw materials. In funds, debt and equity funds are the most common. How much do I invest in each type of fund? That's definitely going to have more to do with the type of goals you have. If you have very short-term goals, then obviously you have to go to short-term debt funds. If you are already thinking about investments that you are going to leave for 3, 5, 7, 10 or more years, then indexed funds that follow stock market indexes like NASDAQ, Standard & Poor's, IPC, that are more about stocks, then those would be the indicated indexes. If you are enjoying this video and want to be aware of new videos, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications. Something that is an important recommendation is to avoid of all costs what Franklin Templeton calls the local player syndrome, that is, to invest only in instruments from your country. Since the funds give you options to invest in other countries, this obviously helps you to have greater exposure, something that definitely has to be in your portfolio, because it is the largest market in the world, are the US indexes. So, ask the fund operator, online brokerage house, or wherever you are investing your money, if they have funds that invest in other countries, and, specifically, in the United States. How do I earn profit on funds? Since you are always going to buy at a certain price, to make a profit you need to wait for that price to go up. 
That is precisely why it is very dangerous to buy when there is a boom in the markets, because in the markets gravity reigns, everything that goes up eventually goes down. So, it is very important that before getting into an indexed fund, you check what the historical performance has been, what has been, let's say, the level you are at, to see if you are buying high or low. If not, something you can do is to wait a little bit in short-term debt instruments, and when you see an interesting fall, enter there. On the subject of funds, and particularly indexed funds, there is no guaranteed profit at the beginning. Your returns depend on what level you bought at, and how far, that fund goes up or down. In fact, it can happen that, if you buy very expensively, or at a bad moment, if the index suddenly falls, you can end up with losses. But remember that it is not exactly a loss until you sell the fund. So, if there is a sudden sharp drop, take a deep breath, review your goals, and see if it is really worth making a change. How can I find out what the fund I am interested in invests in? If you want to know exactly what the fund invests in, there is a specific document called an investment prospectus. That has to be in the online brokerage house or in the operator that is selling you the funds. And it will always tell you what the fund is investing in, whether its horizon is short, medium or long term, what its investment objectives are, what risks may affect you and the volatility it has, buying and selling hours, and also how long it takes to liquidate and, very importantly, the commissions they charge. I hope this video has clarified a little more about index funds, but above all that it has increased your appetite to learn more about investments. Thanks for watching The Money Street, and don't forget to click the subscribe button for more financial videos.